in today's video. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, another uh, roach keeping video. Today uh, showcasing a beetle mimic cockroach. Uh, more specifically, the Pacific Beetle Mimic Cockroach, uh, scientifically known as Diploptera punctacta. Um, as you can see, they really look like beetles, and I am always fascinated by um, species that likes to mimic each other. Um, these cockroaches have um, other very interesting aspects besides just the visual mimicry. Uh, one of them is that they have a defensive secretion which is um, chemically similar in composition with uh, some darkling beetles but uh, less potent. Um, this is interesting because not only they seem to copy uh, the visual aspect of the beetles, but also in part the their defensive um, secretion composition. Another very interesting aspect uh, of these roaches and which make them uh, extremely particular in the cockroach uh, world, it's... Uh, I don't think that at this moment they are the only one. At this moment I think they are one of two, if I'm not mistaken, which uh, have a very specific uh, reproductive uh, methodology. And they are known to be viviparous roaches. Uh, this means that the females will, um, will develop their eggs internally, uh, and each egg will have its individual uh, sac and the way that uh, they develop is the females will produce what is called the roach milk to feed each individual uh, egg uh, until it's time to hatch and then they will give live birth uh, in a similar way like humans do. Some other interesting aspects uh, of these roaches is that um, as when it comes to mating uh, normally in the, in the in the roaches the males tend to mature first uh, waiting for the females to to develop and in this particular species as soon as the the female adult roaches shed their last uh, skin uh, and while they are still fresh uh, they can be found mating immediately with the males and I have observed this behavior in my colony and so you have the uh, adult uh, white female mating with the darker mature male and it's another interesting aspect of, the, of these roaches. In, in regarding to keeping them and the husbandry um, I've noticed that uh, um, they do better when kept at a higher humidity um, and I have a lower reproduction uh, ratio or uh, efficiency when I was keeping them almost dry. They didn't seem to, to be breathing at all actually and later I changed their enclosure I gave them a more uh, ventilated enclosure but I made sure that the um, substrate was kept uh, always moist and, and that uh, seemed to do the trick for them and, um, and I could see more babies being produced I think the, ca the colony is fairly reasonable now I I, th I estimate around 30 or 40 individuals. In regards to temperature, they seem to be much more productive towards the higher temperatures. Uh, during winter I tend, uh, normally I don't provide any additional temperature 
in my uh, insect room and I noticed that um, sometimes when it gets really really low uh, when I turn on some heater just to make sure that uh, no insects die I noticed that they imme immediately rush towards the front that's facing the heater and when other roaches do not do this so they seem very uh, sensitive to, to, to temperature and they tend to seek these higher temperatures uh, so that's another aspect for you to have in consideration if you're thinking in keeping this species in terms of feeding uh, it's always the usual apples mangoes bananas oranges uh, fish food fish flakes uh, dry dog food um, the only thing is always make sure that you only give the necessary amounts otherwise with the um, added humidity that the enclosure has um, it might mold uh, faster this might pose a risk to the development of the colony uh, finally and to wrap up the video um, all stages of this uh, roach species is able to climb so as you can see in, from my enclosure it's uh, covered I uh, have a baby powder alcohol barrier it's a barrier that normally uh, I use for the ant species but uh, I've seen that it works also reasonably well with roaches so I would advise you, advise you to to try this instead of fluon uh, I'm not a big fan of fluon to be honest um, first is expensive and then recently I've seen a, an article where it says that it's potentially not um, healthy uh, for the for humans so yeah so this is it for today's video i hope you have enjoyed another um, mimic roach in this case the pacific beetle mimic roach a fascinating species to to keep and i highly recommend you to to try that so see you in tomorrow's video thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment let me know what you would like to see next and yeah see you tomorrow bye